right, let's bring in a panel on this. Scott Martin from Kingsview Asset Management. He's also a Fox News contributor. And John Friedman, a media journalist and professor at Stony Brook University. John, let's first talk about the thing that jumps out at you here, which is that their uh, media networks revenue decreased 3%. A lot of people will look at ESPN and say that the politicalization of ESPN, the political correctness of ESPN has turned off a lot of viewers, to which you would say what? I say that's true, but the secondary point is that the main, the main point, again, is viewership. Their strategy needs to be re rethought here. Their strategy of fa favoring live action TV at ESPN is not working right now. As we can see, the numbers keep going down. ESPN needs to rethink its entire strategy about from live action television to something more substantial and more current and more, more hot right now. Scott, I've seen it happen so often before when you have these companies that think that they've got a, that they are the golden child, that they can do no wrong, uh, that there are no competitors, and they get lazy. They think they can do things that please themselves rather than what pleases the audience, the customers. I've seen it happen. It seems like that's what's been happening to ESPN. I think you just described him perfectly, David. They fall asleep at the wheel. And, and to John's point, uh, he's right about the live action TV and the fact I would add that Amazon, Facebook, Twitter have all taken on that role as well. And so if you have the choice to say go on Facebook and watch an MLB game, for example, you will maybe versus turning on ESPN because you actually get the game and none of that political right. rhetoric that you talked about. So that's a big deal. You know, we own Disney, unfortunately, David, and gosh, are my patients getting tried here. And I'll tell you what I thought they would do a long time ago was spin off the theme parks, spin off Pixar. Yeah. That would have been a great move, but they continue to hang around with ESPN and the network programming, which is just not working. Well, John, I got to say, and, and this, these folks that I'm going to mention are cousins of ours. Uh, they're owned by the same parent company. But Fox Sports 1 and 2 uh, is providing some competition for ESPN that they're not accustomed to. No question about it. ESPN, as Scott said, has been complacent, and now they're paying the price for their complacency. And competitors like Fox are coming along with new ideas and kind of new approaches and new people, new spokespeople, new people on the air as well, and they're making an impact. People, people like to have fun in sports. ESPN right. is very serious with the politics mentioned before. The NFL, its main property, is declining in a lot of ways, including viewers and including its kind of relevance. So ESPN's got a real big right. problem here. Well, John, you're relevant to this next subject. AT&T CEO Randall Stevenson insisting today that he has never been told the price of getting the deal done with Time Warner was to sell CNN, period. So is the merger between AT&T and Time Warner still alive? Uh, John, how much of, this, uh, of, of the comments from the federal government, from the Justice Department, have to do specifically with CNN? Well, you know, this is a he said, she said kind of thing, because nobody really knows who's right and who's wrong, who said it first, who said it second. Right now, the government holds the, holds the uh, power right now. The government can say, no, this deal is dead if it wants to. So it's up to AT&T to compromise with the government and do what it wants, whether it wants to or not. It can, it can talk very boldly and very, very, very tough, but until the government is happy... AT&T is, is, is at a nowhere place right now. Well, uh, Scott uh, Stevenson claims that CNN has nothing to do with the deal, to which you say what? I'd say, well, like John said, I mean, it doesn't matter if it does or doesn't. I mean, you're up against the government in this case who has the final approval here, David. So you have to play games with them or have to play the ball game. But the reality is this. Just look at at and stock over the last six months as this deal has gotten closer to potentially being closed. The stock has fallen week after week, yeah. month after month in anticipation of this impasse. The market doesn't lie. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Good stuff. Appreciate it. Melissa.